Hi guys, and welcome or welcome back to another video if you guys are new. Hi, what's up? My name is Hannah and I am so excited for this video because a lot of exciting things are happening. As you guys can tell from the title, it is currently 11 o'clock. I already went to the gym and got ready and everything. And in 20 minutes, mom and I are leaving for my dentist appointment. I'm getting my brain. I've only had them for four months. If you guys have kept up with my tooth journey, you guys will know why I only needed four months. And now it is time to go get my braces off. I am so scared that my orthodontist is gonna say that I need to wait another month with my braces. I've heard that that happens all the time. They're like, oh yeah, you'll get them off next month. And then when that month comes, they're like, oh, actually, no, you have to wait another month. You know what I mean? I didn't have them on my bottom teeth, so it's not like I forgot how it felt. Ah, uh, it's so weird. It's crazy because I only had it for four months, but I got used to it. So, let me tell the people what it's like to get their braces off. 70,000 people and those many people that commented on my getting my braces on video and they wanted to know what it's like, did it hurt? The only part that was uncomfortable was when she was actually breaking the brackets off and I had to like bite down on something and it kind of hurt just like a little bit. Otherwise, she just got all like the glue off and then it's like she used a toothpaste basically to clean them off at the end, but that was fine. It's like she used, um, what's it called? A file, yeah, but it was a metal file and it was getting the glue off and so that vibrated like my whole head it didn't hurt and that was it it took inside it only took like literally 10 minutes or 15 it didn't take very long i'm in the car eating chips anyway i didn't really explain what's happening in this video but basically obviously i got my braces off then tomorrow morning at 10 a.m i have a hair appointment and i'm going to be dyeing my hair and then after my mom and i are going to go to the center of town and i might be getting my conch piercing and then friday i'm getting my nails done and tonight i'm going to be doing teeth whitening with these spotlight oral care teeth whitening strips anyway i'll see you guys later for the next step in my fall glow up all right guys, so welcome to the next step in my glow up, which is teeth whitening. These are them. They are just in this little package thingy. I also want to mention, ignore the wall. Um, yeah, we are in the middle of painting basically our whole house and the bathroom is not done yet. So anyway, we're going to do this. This is what it looks like. The long one goes on your top teeth and the short one goes on your bottom teeth. What I use to dry my teeth is just a piece of toilet paper. I just roll it up and then I go like this. Now I'm just gonna do my top teeth. It has been an hour and now it is time to take these. That was really stuck on there. <laughs> I do not know why that was so difficult to take off. They were like so stuck on there. But now it is time to brush my teeth. I'm using the toothpaste for whitening teeth from Spotlight Oral Care as well as their bamboo toothbrushes. I really like the toothbrushes. All right, now that my teeth are all clean, I am done for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when it is time to go get my hair done.
Good morning guys, it is currently 9am. I just finished getting ready and this is the last look of me as a blonde. This is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this sweater, cargos, and covers. I am so excited. I didn't know, I kind of got nervous because I didn't know like this is gonna turn out how I wanted. And then like near to the end, I was like, gosh, I just gotta learn to trust her. Like she knows what she's doing. Hi guys, so I wanted to do a little update because I didn't do one right after I got my piercing. I got my conch piercing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. I absolutely love it. And I have to say that I think my conch hurt worse than my helix. Honestly, this one was probably the most painful, but I've heard that it heals faster, but... I don't know either way that one was very painful and as for my hair this is what it looks like i don't know the sliding's kind of bad it's really like ashy but in the sunlight it's kind of dark dark chestnut i absolutely loved how my hair turned out it's so good because i didn't want to be blonde anymore i wanted to have dark hair honestly this is almost the end of the glow up all i have left is getting my nails done on friday which is day after tomorrow because honestly my nails are so crusty so i guess that is it for now i'll see you guys on friday when it is time to get my nails Done. Hi guys, I'm currently walking to my nail appointment. I completely lost track of time and forgot that it's literally in like three minutes. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Ah. Anyway, it's 1.58 and my appointment's at 2. So I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be fine. But so excited to be getting my nails done. Here's my inspo picture and we will see how it goes. Okay, so I just got out of getting my nails done and I wasn't really able to film while I was getting them done because obviously both hands were getting done at the same time and I couldn't really film. But anyway, this is what they turned out. They literally turned out so perfect. 
because the dirt bikes, you can kind of hear it. But if I wasn't playing ultimate frisbee, I probably would have gotten them a little bit longer. But if they're super long, it's so much harder to play frisbee. So anyway, this is what they turned out like. They literally turned out so perfect. And they're still going to be done for my trip that I'm going on, which I'm not going to announce yet or tell you guys about it. But stay tuned because November... It's gonna be a great month. Anyway, I'm so happy with them. All right guys, so I got back from getting my nails done and I guess that makes this the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go down below and subscribe if you haven't already to help me on my goal to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I will see you guys next Friday with another video. Bye.